Do you see? It's me. It's me. It's A-N-T on my new show, A-N-T Live. As you know, we have six days until my birthday. And I'm just here to tell you people, I do accept cash. Let's talk about WWE news. As you all know, it's been rumored that John Cena has a medical list of injuries that he's been trying to hide from the public. Well, moron, you can't hide from us for long, can you? Hey, I'm not the biggest John Cena fan there is, and I can frankly give a rat's behind if you win, lose, or draw. But I don't like Brock Lesnar. And the only thing about Lesnar that really grinds my gear, he's a part, well, not normally a part-time, but he's a yahoo. And I can't stand yahoos. I work with a bunch of yahoos, but I can't stand yahoos. Okay, Lesnar is the type of guy that make you just want to go, just make you want to run up to him and punch him right in the back of the head. <laughs> you may get away with it, you may not, but at the game, you may win. I don't think Lesnar can win a street fight or a real fight because Paul Heyman, Brock Lesnar. Every time Heyman says it, I want to puke. And I'm a Paul Heyman guy. Again, I don't see Brock Lesnar being a long-term champion. Maybe about a month or two. And if you really want to put Brock Lesnar in a match, put him against Sheamus. Bro kick versus the F5. Ah, my money's on Sheamus. The guilty boy. Again, another hot topic around the wrestling world. It's been a it's been said for many, many times now that the WWE is in has been in negotiation with Sting for the longest time. My personal opinion, I'd be glad when the WWE signs Sting because, in my opinion, the man they call Sting will be a great attraction to WWE. He, I don't. He keeps saying he's got one more good match, and that's BS. Sting can go with the best of them. I would love to see Sting get in that ring. With guys like John Cena, the big show. Well, that happened before in WCW. Guys like Triple H. Guys like Mark Henry. The Wyatt family. Hey, I want to see Cena. I want to see Sting in the ring with Bray Wyatt. Who will win? Sting or Bray Wyatt. That would be an excellent matchup. Bray Wyatt's also on the new WWE 2K15 games, which is on the cover of John Cena. Whoop de doo. Okay. And other news, Ring of Honor news. As we all know, Michael Elgin is scheduled to defend his world title against Jay Briscoe September the 6th, which is tomorrow. No, Saturday. In Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Um, I have no news on that, and I frankly don't care about that either. Hey, Michael Elgin, he finally get won the big one. whoop de doo He couldn't be Adam Cole. He couldn't be Jay Briscoe. He couldn't be Kevin Steen. But finally, he beats Adam Cole at Ring of Honor's best in the world. Big freaking dude. You want to impress me, Michael Elgin? Spell the Gooberts. TNA News. Their world champion is WWE's former two-time ECW champion, Bobby Lashley. You know what? I got my opinions on that all day and every day. And I'm going to speak my mind on that. Lashley couldn't rush his way out of a paper bag. And for one, he beat EY because EY was going back to film his new show on the Discovery Channel. Now, Bobby Roode, who I have the most utmost respect for, Roode is one of those guys that you can't sleep on. Him and Storm, one of the greatest tag teams in TNA history. They were TNA Tag Team Champions longer than any other tag teams around. I'm loving what Team 3D, a.k.a. the Dudleys, the Hardys, and the American Wolves are doing the Tag Team Division. But Bobby Roode, James Storm, set Tag Team Division on fire. I think Roode has got Bobby Lashley's number. Lashley, yes, he's a former two-time ECW champion. He's a former United States champion. He's also a goof. You know why? Because he's hanging around another goof named MVP. 
And don't get me started on Kenny King. I, I haven't heard the guy. Don't like the guy. I don't care for the guy. Okay. And that's just my two cents. Another thing. And back on WDB. WDB is assisting to let Dolph Ziggler win the Intercontinental title and Sheamus win the U.S. title. Well, that's fine and well. But you know what? It's called title defenses on TV, idiots. Make Sheamus defend his U.S. title once a week on TV. Make Ziggler defend his title once a week on TV. Make the Usos defend their title once a week on TV. Make Lesnar defend his title once a week on TV. That's what draws ratings. They want to see championship matches. I want to see championship matches on Raw. Not just the Divas title. Not just the Intercontinental title. I want to see a world title match on Raw every now and then. And on SmackDown for that matter. You guys have been kicking in the high gear for Raw and SmackDown. Why can't you do it more often? Put the bumps on line. You get more ratings. Paul Levesque, I don't think you know what you're doing. Heck, I can do a better job as the CEO of that company than you. And I ain't... I'm just saying. My thing is, Paul, you want to be like your father-in-law. You're never going to touch Vince. Vince is a mastermind. You, you're a piece of crap. The only reason you got that position is because you slapped your way to the top. That's a different show, different time, different place. Back to TNA. As you all know, Dixie Carter got put through a table by Buddy Ray, a.k.a. Bubba Ray. Well, we all know Bubba's normal for putting females to a table. Look what he did in WWE. Look what he did in TNA. Bubba Ray Dudley is the master of the table. Hey, if anybody can go through a table, Bubba can do it. It's a, it's a new promotion that's making waves in the independent circle right now, and it's called the House of Hardcore. The founding Nate is in his H O H, and the founding father of House of Hardcore, Tommy Dreamer, who. I will have will try to get on this show in about three weeks. Dreamer, if you watch this on YouTube, I want you on my show. I don't care if you gotta do link up, but I want you on this show. Huge fan of yours, the biggest Tommy Dreamer fan ever. I saw when you beat Dom um, Taz for the East Lake World title, and I saw when you beat Christian and Jack Swagger for the East Lake World title. I believe in Dreamer. Dreamer should be a world champ again. TNA, whoever. Thank you for watching my show, Ant Live, and please subscribe to my page. Until then, peace out.